Ken, you brought me out of retirement today. <laughs> I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just so happy and so proud for you and, and, and hope that, that the feeling that you got inside of you now when you walk out of this dressing room and get on the bus to go home, it'll be one that you like and that, that you can, can just don't want to get rid of it because I'm an old man at this thing. And I love every one of you. I love you a little more when you win. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I care. At, uh, but it's, uh, it was a big win for us under difficult circumstances. Let's take the day, men. And let's build around it. This is the Auburn Football Review with Coach Pat Dye. Brought to you by Alpha Insurance, a new name for an old friend. Coca-Cola, you can't beat the feeling. Colonial Bank, you'll like our spirit. Golden Flake Snack Foods, one taste and you're stuck on Golden Flake. And by Great Southern Wood, makers of Osmos, the best wood you can buy for building outdoors. Now, here with Coach Dye is your host, Phil Snow. Welcome to the Auburn Football Review. Yesterday in Keenan Stadium in North Carolina, Chapel Hill, Auburn 20, North Carolina 10, as you saw a two War Eagle victory, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> well, Phil, I, to be honest with you, I, I guess I was a little selfish in my desire to win that football game, but I went up to Chapel Hill four times when I was at East Carolina and we never went up there with a football team. We won twice and, and, and got tied once. We should have won the other one. But I never went up there with a football team that, that could match up with Carolina. And I dreamed about <laughs> taking one back up there that was man for man as good and with a chance to win. And um, that dream came true yesterday because it, it took a bunch of men to win the football game. As uh, we will see in uh, just a few minutes, uh, a lot of good things in the dressing room after that game, after such a big win, and let's get in there and then we'll talk more about the game later. All day long we've been talking about the corners, how they've been squatting, you know, when we thought we could get one deep, and Freddie and them kept coming back, Lawyer and Ace and Duke, and they're always saying the same thing, the corners are squatting, we can run by them. And I looked out there and Freddie was running by him 10 yards, and I just tried to lay it up to him. And when I planted, like I would do an outer end, he kind of just froze and, and uh, looked kind of flat-footed, so I just took off again and uh, kind of left him there. You didn't have any fleeting thoughts of last week, did you? No, no. You got no. It reminded me a lot of Tennessee last week. You know, them get, jumping out ahead of us. You know, and all the momentum shifts them, and, and we just said we got to just drive the ball down and put points on board. That's the only way we're going to get the fans quieted and get them boys from jumping around so much. You know, so a lot of times, you know, you can't play good the whole game, but you know, you just have to play good in certain areas. And I think we came through when we had to. You got the bell rung one time. No, I got hit in the hip. <laughs> No, nah, I'll be there next week. I got my another one in a three box defense. I got over, the over top of the corner and picked one off. I got to learn how to run one back. Though they tell some sideline, I go quick across the middle and lose yards. They're going to show you in that film if you kept going. Yeah, you got yeah. Score, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I learn how to run one back for them, maybe I'll score. <laughs> I had a receiver cross in front of me, and what they tried to do is they tried to get you to bite on him, and then they throw it to the back out of the backfield. And I uh, came off from him and just tried to read his eyes. And, uh, you know, he threw a bullet, and I just, you know, dove and caught it. And I was, you know, just real fortunate, I believe. And on the other one, you just were kind of sticking to your guy, huh? It was. We had man coverage and uh, my back blocked, and I just flowed a little bit, and he tried to throw it over my head, and uh, he understood it a little bit, and, you know, I reached something, got it. Did you entertain any thoughts of scoring glory? Well, I thought I had a chance at first, and the guy, I guess the receiver came and called me. He probably caught me anyway, so. I think Kurt got it, because he had to run and start, and I had to come off a block. He got to run in our lick, but I got a half a tackle, so I'm satisfied. Came over the big plays when we needed to. And, and I think probably most of all, everybody playing together, you know, and that's, you know, that's all we've been preaching, and we didn't have that last week, and we needed, we came with it this week. Well, I get all the credit to our line. You know, they came on the ball second half, like, uh, they was ready, and what they give me, I'm going to take it. Feels better, doesn't it? It feels a whole lot better. <laughs> Tell me what you did after you caught that pass over the middle. I went back to the huddle and congratulated Mr. Lyon for blocking and giving Jeff time to throw the ball. 
but we had been trouble. Had, he had been having trouble all day throwing the ball, and then we just wanted to give him some time so he can throw it. What happened to make you all able to move the football so well in the second half? Uh, we knew we had to do it. The offense, the running backs, the quarterbacks, we had to come together. We had to make our move. We had to make it in the second half. Learned a lot about you. Yeah, I did. So the coach, coach read, and the other coaches told us to watch out for the reverse. And uh, go through block. I knew sooner or later they were Where's the quarterback? Oh, it's uh, oh, the quarterback block. You know, <laughs> not really. We're never supposed to let a quarterback block you. That's one of the rules, quarterback and running back. <laughs> Last night when he came in the room, he had that same look on his face when he came in to tell us good night. And I said, Coach, uh, we're going to win this day. And he said, uh, Pig, this game means more to you than it do to me. <laughs> and it did. Kingman! <laughs> Stadium, small by today's uh, standards. It's a beautiful beautiful setting, though, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. yes. And, and 53 degrees and, and, and windy. Uh, you know, it was, uh, was kind of chilly, really. And uh, I had to put a jacket on. Uh, That's that look, Coach. Well, <laughs> you know, this football team has got a chance to be good. And we hadn't really... We hadn't, we we didn't have to just play those things against Kansas and Texas and and uh, against Tennessee last week. We came up a little short, and and I knew that this this uh, this game was going to give us an opportunity to to grow up, uh, or we wouldn't have won yesterday. This is their second I possession. Think, I think that uh, I think that we certainly uh, got something out of yesterday that we can build around, and our defense didn't give up another touchdown. <coughs> again yesterday that we got a punt block for a touchdown but the defense didn't give up a touchdown and uh, you know they they just uh, continue to play well we gave up some yardage in the first half and and we take this one down for for a field goal now and uh, you know we we again forced to play some new folks on offense and move some people around and it was a third Jeff, down play there Jeff Berger hitting Walter Reeves and and uh, of course Walter's the best tight end in America in my opinion. Vincent Harris at tailback. Vincent playing tailback and for the first time and did a great job for us. He again taking the handoff and offensive line coming off the of football and North Carolina's as good up front defensively as as anybody that we've played maybe better. Uh, I was talking to Stacy Searles last night and he said that. Uh, he thought that uh, that defensive front was just every bit as good as Tennessee and that the backup people were better than Tennessee. Um, you're going to see him move, move the football a little bit here. And Mark May has got uh, done some good things with the football. That's a good receiver, and, Marriott. Right. Too. They've got two outstanding wide receivers. Great goal line stand here. You get a face mask punch, and sometimes those things are, you know, they're just kind of unavoidable. And I think, Nate, you know, sometimes you, when you're going for a football player, you don't know what you're grabbing. And running back, and Kurt Crane comes up with a key play right here for us. And He's not the player of the week. I don't know how you could not get <coughs> one with 15 tackles, five assists, well, you take, two interceptions. Uh, uh, Two sacks. He, he, you could see right there, he's kind of dancing with a quarterback and, and watching his eyes. and. We play in zone coverage, and they come back on on defense, uh, offense, and again, you know, Mark May, they're doing a good job of reading that secondary and, and going uh, to the going uh, to the open guy. And, of course, our folks were fine oh. tackled by Edward Phillips right there. And, There's and, a silent uh, man on the defense. Alvin right? Mitchell, and we we getting some pressure. There's good pressure by Nate Hill, and uh, we got to make some yesterday. Because that's always important as he threw that one with somebody right in his face. I'm not sure who that was. It was Ron Stallworth or Stallworth. Tracy Rocker or Benji Rowland or Robert Goff, somebody up front there. Just good, before the half Good now. protection there. And uh, Jeff hits uh, Lawyer and we don't move it anymore. And Brian Schumann did a great job of punting yesterday. And that right there, we worked on all week long yesterday, him kicking that thing up high and going down there and catching it or down there. <coughs> they get a drive going just before the half, trying Great to take the lead. Great play right there by uh, Kevin Porter. And uh, I believe that's Kevin's first interception, mm -hmm. but he's, he doesn't get as many opportunities as some of the rest of them. And tell you, North Carolina's defensive front, they can run. they got great speed and quickness, and, and they are good solid football team. There's Kurt and Brian Smith and Benji Rowland. 
Was James Joseph on the sideline there that in James, the cast? We took all of the crippled guys with us to the hurt guys. May Shot Kimmel. right there of uh, Mark May pulling the ball down and run for 15 or 16 yards. And here again, there's a big play right there and a big hit by Nate Hill and Kurt Crane and that, Andre's back there. And that punishment will begin to tell in the second half. Well, that's, uh, they, you know, they missed another field goal right there. And, of course, we probably dodged the bullet, but uh, at the half, uh, we hadn't got much going offensively, and they had moved the ball on us quite well defensively, and I felt fortunate to only be three points behind. All the radio and all the people felt like uh, <coughs> Carolina had uh, had gotten the best of it in the first half. Well, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Phil. Things and, Again, you know, I, I took a little different approach to this uh, football game and, and uh, because I, I, I challenged our football team before the game and uh, at the half I came back and, and challenged them again. And uh, I think they, 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 we grew some in the second half of that football game. And, and uh, if we can take that, that uh, we, we played on a different level in the second half on offense and defense. And if we can, if we can build around that, then this team can be special before the year's over. We'll be back in just a minute. Go into the exciting third quarter now when Auburn falls behind. You get a couple of uh, early penalties on the first drive and they don't move. And now we pick up the action with the uh, second drive for North Carolina. Well, Phil, you know the, the, the game, there's a fine play right there by Quentin Riggins. And uh, the game, you know, there was, some, there was a lot of penalties in the game. And we kind of, there's a great play right there by Craig Staples. And uh, Craig, is, I don't know why he wants to turn back across the field right here. <laughs> That's his but third he, interception. <laughs> I know it. He, he did the same thing against Kansas, I believe, but he could have, uh, Tennessee, I guess. Thought if he'd have stayed outside, he might have had a chance to score. <clears throat> Curtis Stewart running the sweep and here's a reverse and I don't know about that. I just called a clip and Lawyer Tillman made a great run down to the 22 yard line. We got it nullified with a clip and the third penalty front. of this quarter. That's the one that they blocked right there and, and uh, we just didn't have good protection and you know I tell you Phil I, uh, right now uh, we're just not, we're not getting the production out of our specialty teams. And another great throw and catch. This is a great Good drive. protection. Six plays into the end. <coughs> now, Jeff, uh, in the offensive line, and you got to give Chris 11 of them out there, the, the offensive line is getting protection. We're getting movement. Uh, we, be we begin to, to, to look like an offensive football team here. Every time we run the ball, we get movement up front, and there's some creases to run in, and Jeff's getting good protection. And, and, and right here, of course, he hits Freddie, and Freddie does a good job, and they, they kind of squat on looking for a shorter route, and he runs by them, and they tie the ball game 10-10. to 10. Now, the one good thing about our offense, the two times that we've been behind this year, they come right back and just and, and look very dominant. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. That's a fine play right here. You can see our defensive folks, are, you know, they, when you can make that quarterback get off of that spot back there, then, you know, he's, he's, he's not throwing in rhythm, and that's what you want to do. <clears throat> you see, Jeff does a great job right there. That was mm -hmm. a deep route. It wasn't there. He dropped the ball. One, I, was, I was one of the, talking to Pat Sullivan, that was one of the two best plays that, that uh, Jeff had yesterday. I was standing throwing kicks to the lawyer. We get the ball to the seven yard line. And this is uh, again come back and hit uh, Vincent Harris. And Vincent's got outstanding hands, makes, puts it down to around the three or four yard line. Here's the play the touchdown play on third and goal. Good block right there by Curtis Stewart. <coughs> Hit Vincent Harris in the end zone for the touchdown. He throws him inside with a good fake to the fullback and through to the end zone. And it's getting kind of exciting over on that sideline. <coughs> Boy. Now they, they, you can, I mean, we come into life now. And, and uh, it's, uh, at this time, you know, I, uh, I just, uh, you just feel so, uh, and of all the things that happened yesterday, yeah, there's a lot of good things in the ball game. 
And there was some bad things too. We we got some silly we got caught up in the deal up there and got some silly penalties we shouldn't have got. That's Jeff throwing the but the best thing of all is the offense didn't turn the football over. Yeah. And uh, one turnover in the ball game in a game like that can make a difference. And we didn't turn it over and that was a big and they turned it over four times. Oh. <clears throat> There's another good play by Andre Bruce and Kirk Crane. It seemed like Andre and Kirk were getting at the mm -hmm. same time on several occasions yesterday. I don't know about that. That was the, that was deal. That's a, I mean that was a 15-yard penalty. If he'd called that a five-yard penalty, it would have been a it wouldn't, it wouldn't have given a first down. Mm -hmm. And he kind of slid up underneath, and the guy actually just came down on him. Uh, as Andre makes a nice play on the draw, and. Uh, a little pressure on the quarterback. Great play by Carlos Cheatham. Auburn just has a seven-point lead now. This is still a big game. Right, and uh, and they miss another field goal. <clears throat> and here, you know, we should take this ball right here and just uh, drive it. And, but you can see that, you know, we're beginning to get movement. And I think the wear and tear is there. And boy, what a good job Peter and all the being in the there. Mm. But uh, they stop us, and we we uh, had to punt. They go back on offense. But you can see us He's getting... He's hit as he throws. We're getting pressure to to, uh, to May now. Great play right here by Brian Smith. It was Brian Smith that hit him just before, too. <coughs> on the previous play. Brian Smith uh, started yesterday. Alvin Mitchell has been starting. That's a fine play by Andre and Carl Cheatham. And they run a draw play on third Kurt and 17. Kurt Crane and Ed Zalby, he's having a good time. We really appreciate our fans when we go on the road. And this this <laughs> last drive right here is, is uh, an outstanding drive. Scooby-Doo. We should have got the ball in the end zone for the touchdown. We shouldn't be satisfied to get it down there. That's a big third. Third one. one. <clears throat> situation. That was a nice little move right there by Vincent Harris and run and cut. And there's another fine run right here. Good blocking downfield by by uh, Reggie Ware. There's another fine block by Reggie and <clears throat> good running. And just uh, here's the put away field goal. Well, that was the one that. that Kind of iced it for us with a minute and something left to go in the game, and they actually take the ball and move it a little bit, but don't get any points out of it. Time runs out, and we were happy to win 20 to 10, and it was a big win for us. And again, I think, I think the things that I felt yesterday on the sideline and in the dressing room after the game, and, and the way we prepared, uh, is means as much to me now as as the actual win itself. 